was shaking her head. She didn't say anything to him. Just bumped it up. Oh my God, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Just say, where are we at? We're not young, we're not cussing. You guys like, it's like, you don't have a style of you. Are you guys going back in the Shall pass through unto thee. Right, now, also the cup shall pass through unto thee. 
So all, all everything who gave us, just like it says in uh, Revelation 18 chapter, that's, that's the priest that we're going to fill fill their cup that was that they gave up. So it's going to come. Everything that ever happened to us is going to happen to them. I'll read it again. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. Verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Right, daughter of Zion. He goes back to the end of verse 5. Mark, on that day, it's going to be accomplished. We're going to serve on the Sunday. All the things that ever happened to us is going to be turned away. Now, the scripture we're reading, where it says, uh, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, right? So look right here. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, right? So he told the Israelites he's going to punish them for all their iniquities. When you get to this scripture, it's telling you that the punishment for those iniquities is already accomplished, you know what I'm saying? So it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So that captivity we went to right there, this captivity right here, he said, that's over. That's not going to happen no more. There's no more of that happening to the, to, to, uh, to the Israelites. Then it says, he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sin. So now, it's this guy's turn to get it. You know what I'm saying? It's a vicious truth, but man, it happened to us. And when we, who, who to tell it better than us? Because we're living it right now, to this day. You know? These guys got hell to pay, man. And they don't, of course, they don't want to hear you say it to them, man. Oh, yeah. Let me get the precept for this. You know, Revelation 18 and 6. The Lord heard. Like, yeah. reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her cup according to her works in the cup which she had filled filled to her double. Don't need to be real with each other. What goes around comes around, what you say comes around once. So the white man just gets back exactly what he gave. Not no extra, just what he gave. That's already vicious enough. The scripture just said, give him devil. You know what I'm saying? So everything that we've seen this white man do, hanging people on trees, and all the breezes should be done. But God, God said he's gonna give that back to him two times. That's scary. We didn't write that. You know what I'm saying? Man, these guys got hell back, man. You know, and, and you know what we're supposed to do as our nation? As our nation, we're supposed to accept it. I'll show you this. Uh, yeah, this is the apocryphal. Oh, I'll show you. Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, 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 Oh, yeah, that comes out. But it, it says so many things in there, it, it makes perfect sense why they took it out. Well, he, I'm going to say this. In, if, you put, if you have like a Catholic Bible, they're going to have all these things. I think it shows in uh, your 626 and 11 where it tells. Back. I think it shows it in there where it, say, it shows pretty much all of these books. This is the book of Revelations, chapter uh, 22, and I'll start at verse 18. It says, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto them the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book, right? That scripture is in this Bible too. You know what I'm saying? Well, all those books were still in there. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, when he gets done, I'll pull it up and read it too, just so you know it's in there. So they have no business removing those books out of the Bible. How do you guys, how do you guys get that book? Now it's not order. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, the public feel like that. You can go get this in the bookstore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some of them might not have it, but a lot of them do have it. That's why I got mine. Yeah. This way, I just ordered it. So I, yeah. Sorry, you can go buy this in the store too, because I went to a bookstore and I got another one of these, but it's, it's, it's hella big. I bought it because it was just a big Bible. I like it. And then what's so good is, once I really got to going in and open it, they had a little little tracking device inside of it. Another little page stuck to the page. And I was like, wow, man. I'm not lying, they well, did. You know what? 
Well, that's why they're trying to get a lot of those off the uh, shelf because yeah. they don't want you knowing knowing the uh, truth about the uh, the full truth of these scriptures. Because because numerically, you know, we know that the number is six six six. You know what I'm saying? That's the devil's number. Now they took out eighteen, or not eighteen, was it fourteen books? Which is a part of the apocrypha that was a part of the original uh, text, and, and, it, and uh, they took out fourteen, which made it sixty six. So if you add fourteen back to it, it's eighty. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the reason why they took it out, now you'll find some of these books like Wisdom of Solomon, uh, First, Second Maccabees, Baruch, uh, Bell and the Dragon. You'll find these books within the uh, Roman Catholic Church, uh, Roman Catholic Bible, certain Bible. They, they took out, yeah, First and Second Ezra. I think they took out prayer from this, but primarily those two books are dealing with uh, first and second Ezra. The reason why is because first and second Ezra, is, if you deal with the uh, Northern Kingdom, if you ever go and do some research on the Northern Kingdom description, um, the Assyrian Empire, you know, this is documented history that they had the 10 lost tribes in slavery, you know what I'm saying? But that story, when you read that in the Ray Book, uh, six, uh, Ray Book, KJ Book, KJ Book, KJ Book, KJ Book, KJ Book, Oh yeah? It's just a little location you have to Oh yeah. When, when you read this in the regular one with the Apocrypha, uh, that story, you know what happens to me. But it tells you in the 13th, um, in the 13th chapter of the second Ezra, that, uh, that the indigenous population over here in America came all the way, left the Assyrian in captivity, came all the way over here to a land called Alpha, which is uh, a land unknown, a land that was uninhabited. You know what I'm saying? In, in, uh, the kingdom of Israel was, you know, sending all the way out this These people came over here to the Americas and filled up all the land. I remember, you know, I was reading, I was watching the video, but I didn't understand it. That's why I was going to say, I said something about Cortez, like Red Martin, and he read how they were pretty smart. Yeah, actually, that's in the scripture, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you're thinking that Cortez got that idea of how to come to the new land? Well, he's about to pull it out. That's how uh, Marshall Pollock came over here to the new land. Uh, was Christopher Columbus? Yeah, he used the Bible to come looking for somebody. The Bible told him that the northern tribe would be over here in this land that nobody had ever lived in before. And uh, they had a movie called... Um, Conquest of 1492, Conquest of Paradise. And they're asking, Christopher Columbus has a map, right? He got all the different places on the map, and then he has a compass, and he says, I believe that the Indies is over here, and he puts it on a place on the map, but they don't have nothing at all. Nothing yeah, so dude was like, well, how do you know that? Why do you think it's over there? And he says, well, because of Ezra's. And Ezra's is the books that they took out of the Bible. But if you don't know nothing about Ezra's, when he says that, it'll just go over your head, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna show you. And that's and that's one of the reasons why they took this out. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's and, exactly why. And you know, and you know what too, um, in this book right here, I have the uh, the regular copy, but the original copy shows the different maps like from from like uh, I think shipping routes. You know what I'm saying? The time period of the Yeah, yeah, yeah they had shipping routes going to Peru, going to Brazil, going to uh uh Guatemala, Panama, you know, Mexico, you know what I'm saying? They have all, all these little routes, you know, you know what I'm saying? But they don't they don't show this in this book because it, they're trying to, even then, uh, even though I've read you information, they're trying to take it out, you know what I'm saying? So you'd have to get the original copy of this book to um, even have it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what I did is, uh, once I found out that thing about Christopher Columbus, I just went on the internet and just started, you know, looking stuff up, right? Yeah, yeah. So, this is, uh, First voyage of Christopher Columbus, right? So I just highlighted some quick parts. It says, it says uh, he could have found China. Let's talk about one of the lines. He said, he could have found China. He said, he could have found China. There were Rodrigo de Perez and Luis de Torres, a converted, a converted Jew, who spoke Hebrew, Aramaic, Arabic, and this is Spanish. It says, Columbus had brought him as an interpreter, okay? So this guy brought a dude who can speak Hebrew on the bus because he's going to find and see if these people are over here, and he must be able to speak to them if he sees them, right? So what I did is I went and looked up the dude who they said Luis de, de Torres, the, the, uh, uh, the interpreter. So it says, uh, because he was versed in Hebrew, Aramaic, Spanish, Portuguese, French, Latin, and some Arabic, 
Columbus had thought he would be helpful upon their arrival. Especially useful would be his knowledge of Hebrew and Aramaic, as Columbus fully expected to encounter Asian descendants of our father Israel. You see, they throw you off by saying Asian, you know what I'm saying? But we know when he came over here, he didn't come over here and find Asians. You know he came up around the Native Americans, you know what I'm saying? So clearly, this white man, from that day forth, for them not to even know that this side of the world is here, and then a book saying, these people are sitting over here in this land, and him come look for these people, and he sees that they're here. From that day, this white man knows that this book is no joke. He knows how real it is. You know what I'm saying? He knows he can't get rid of it, so instead he'll just lie on it. You know what I'm saying? He'll say, this is Jesus right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, salvation is for everybody. These white Jewish people are God's chosen people. So he'll hold the Bible and lie on it, but he knows that it's the truth without a shadow of a doubt. So he deals with us the way he deals with us because he knows the promises that God says he's going to do for us. And he knows, just like we read, that... Uh, the punishment of our iniquity is, is accomplished, but now it's even sir. Those scriptures about give him double the cup, they know that that's just in there, you know what I'm saying? See, their heritage didn't get taken from, from, from them. That happened to us, you know what I'm saying? They know exactly who they are still, man. Right, and, and you know, dealing with, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So they know that's the reason why they took it out. Also, too, they also took out, like, certain policies, yes. like... Yes! <laughs> like, um, those missiles right there, that's prophesying in the second testament about intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, yeah. terms, but while he was in there, the little emergency thing was, was letting him know that these missiles are getting ready to get shot, you know what I'm saying? But there was nothing they could do, they couldn't turn it off, and right when they get to one, they just shut it all down, you know what I'm saying? Which is the Lord showing that I control these things, you know what I'm saying? Whatever whatever I want to happen is going to happen. Then they got it, they even really had a video where they uh, they got some technology that allows them to see the missile when it's like 700,000 feet up in the air, so they had a missile launch, and uh, first the white dude's explaining how some... Uh, uh, UFO flies into the screen, shoots a beam of light at the warhead, flies down upon it, shoots another beam of light on it, does it, does it like two more times, and then flies out of the scene. But then they show it, you know what I'm saying? So the dude, what was dude's name? Uh, I think his name was Larry King. The white dude got the little show. Oh, yeah, Larry King. He was like, well, he was like, well, how come you couldn't just see this, you know? How come you couldn't see it with your own naked eye? And he was like, because it's about 600,000 miles up into the air. But they, like I said, they got technology that um, allows them to record that high. But you type that into Google and you can see it. It actually shows. Now, we don't, I don't know if it's true, but I believe that the Lord controls. I believe that the UFOs are the angels. I believe it. So when I see that, it's not far It's not far fetched for me to believe that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, then they got a problem on his hands, man. Yeah, I, I, I read something about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it or you guys ever, like, you know, came upon uh, like another, you know, like they're talking about you know, they might have uh, they might have found another pyramid in Antarctica or something. So it's south of the I didn't hear about that one, but I've heard about pyramids being found all over the place. Though. Yeah, yeah, and they, and they were talking about uh, the, 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 all these, uh, all these like, they're, they're putting resources 
up in these uh, you know, remote areas. But like you said, a lot of good but I don't know. You know yeah, I've seen that. About, you know, they might have found, you know, from the They might have found a bank. So they yeah. might have found something where they, they you know, they, everybody's trying to fight. Right. Well, you know, they, I mean, now the whole fallen angel thing, you know, they ain't finding no fallen angel. Yeah. They finding like, you know, resources, weapons, you know what I'm saying? But the Lord, he's the one that gave them, like, like what it was mentioning, you know, he's the one that gave them these, uh, these weapons. You know what I'm saying? He's the one that gave this white man his, uh, his technology. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me read, yes. bring this out to Isaiah. Isaiah 54 and 16. Behold, I have prayed to the smith that the Lord, the coals and the fire. That's a lack of right? And bring it forth an instrument for his work. I have created the waste to destroy. What are those wastes? Missiles. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51 and 11. It says, make, make bright the arrows. Slot. It says, make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord hath raised up the spirit of the kings of the knees, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. So when it says make bright the arrows, he's telling you what those arrows are for, to destroy Babylon. You know what I'm right. Where is the modern day Babylon? We're standing. Right, and the means that, it, that it's talking about, because you have like a lot of Christians are talking, like, I'm trying to come up and try to compound this and say that's not, that's talking about ancient Babylon. Right. And, the, and the means, but when you go into uh, where video, where uh, the modern day means are, it's, it's where, it's where uh, Russia is today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Russia is the one that's going to blow up the current Babylon, which is the miracle. Now, the, the way you prove that, that, was that 51 or 50? That was 51, I was just saying. 51, all right, so you go all the way to 50, because 50 and 51, they're all correlating uh, chapter because they're talking about the same thing. Now, verse 33, the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, uh, 50, Jeremiah 50 and 33, does say the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel, and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Right. So, no other people were, were our uh, nation. They were oppressed together. Throughout this whole, throughout this whole chapter, and they had prophesied. Um, Babylon, Medo Persia, Greece, Rome, those those sort of kingdoms are uh were the press. Or the Babylonian Empire, alright? Before the Babylonian Empire, I should say, the Syrians had uh, the northern kingdom, the uh, kingdom of uh, Israel, these people right here in slavery. But at, during this time, during this uh, time we were in right here from the five or something BC, all the way down to uh, all the way up to now. You know what I'm saying? The Native Americans of North and South America, they were um, being oppressed. You know what I'm saying? All the way up to now, we're all being oppressed. So that proves that. Proves that proves that, that, that talking about something. I got another one for you. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. I'll start at verse 1. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. It says, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. It says, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, and him that lifteth, slot, it, slot. and against him that lifteth himself up, um, and it is uh, Rigadeen, and spare you not her young men, destroy utterly all her hosts. There it, goes, goes, there it goes again, that destroying wind is talking about when the missiles drop. Right. And, uh, but it's say, uh, let the archer bend his bow, you know what I'm saying? But there's a whole bunch more, man. Yeah. And after this, we'll get into the uh, regular have, have you uh, watched it? Yeah, I watched, uh, I watched the other day. Uh, and I know the whole thing. Aztec, when you break it down in Hebrew, because it's, it's actually a Hebrew word. When you break it down, it means people, uh, people, of, the time, people of the other time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's in the scripture. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with the so called Aztecs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dealing with the tribe of Israel. It all correlates to the Actually, you know, I can do that. Bring out a second one. Freedom. Right. Pretty much do everything. 
like to me, you know, like when you have it in the scriptures, you know, uh, a woman more reserved is what I see into it. More, more, uh, more to herself. Everything about the way a woman is trained to think in this society is 100% the opposite of the way a woman's supposed to think. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was, yeah. And uh, that's part of the devil being in control because he, the Bible tells you, he um, he searches out iniquity. So this guy will literally go in the Bible and see the things that the Lord says not to do, and then he'll make laws to make it okay for you. You know what I'm saying? What scripture is it where the Lord said he's created a new thing in the Bible? How long wilt thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter of Israel? For the Lord has created a new thing in the earth. Right. A woman shall surpass a man. A woman shall surpass a man. That's a new thing in the earth. You know, you know what happens right now? Everybody that I know just about that has a kid like me. I went to my father's house the other day. He owed me some money, so I'm gonna go pick up my money from him. He just had a new baby. He's in the house. And my son's in the, is in the back seat. He was like, man, I'm a stay-at-home dad, man. I'm a stay -at He's like, are you a stay-at-home dad? I'm like, man, yeah, I guess I am. So the men stay at home with the kids, and the, and, and the girl goes to work. You know what I'm saying? That is totally, that's totally wrong. You know, of course, you know, when you're dealing with um, a man and a woman having a kid, there's a, uh, each, each person has a role that they have to play. You know what I'm saying? You do what you do as a man, she does what she does as a woman. You guys put it together, that's 50-50. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord has paid women they have a special nurturing thing about them that men that we just don't have. You know, my, when my son came out, the way he's smiling at his mom, he, wouldn't, he didn't really care about me like that, you know what I'm saying? But she could grab him and hold him and rock him to sleep. And for me, it took a little bit of time to get that, you know what I'm saying? There's a specific reason why a woman is supposed to be with the kids like that in the beginning. It's not to be mean, it's because the Lord does something special with her. But this place, I mean, like I said, there ain't no reason why. And I know, I could name probably about 50 of them. We all stay at home with the kid until she gets home from work. It's, it's, it's backwards, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the Edomites, they make it so hard for you to get a good job anyway, you know yeah, what I'm that's, saying? That's, 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 uh, that's what I'm saying. You know? Like, you know, when I try to find you with my daughter, you know, time, you know, right. it's like, you know, sometimes you know, there is no time. There is no time. The system, the way they caught, they caught me, you know, they catch that system. Mm -hmm. you know, we go to work for this time, for this time, yeah. and then the day goes by. Right. The day goes just like, yeah. you see, that's the... the and that right there is the, the deception of the white man. Because at one point in time, they just told the time by sun up to sundown. You know what I'm saying? So then what the white man did is he started breaking shit down into hours. You know what I'm saying? He knows you need eight hours of sleep. He knows you got to go to work for eight hours. And then after that, that only leaves eight hours for you to play with your kids, watch a TV show, and then you got to get up and do it tomorrow. You know? That's not that, that's not by accident. He did that by design so that people don't really have enough time to sit back and look at what's happening in the world. Because yeah, yeah. you're so busy, caught up with, you know, your regular everyday type of thing. Yeah, you know? man, yeah. He's just wicked, man. He's the devil, man. Yeah, I got a uh, book of Isaiah 29 and 15. Go on to them that seek deep to hide their cups from the Lord, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who seeth them? And who knoweth them? Surely turning of things upside down shall be as thing as upon his place, and shall work, say of him that made it, he made me not, for shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he have no understanding. Right. And that's exactly what the white man, by doing these things, you know what I'm saying, by turning the woman over the man, that's, he's basically saying, look, you know, look, I, you know, I'm, I know how to run this place. You're not, you don't know how to run that. But you, but God is the one that has you created. You know so how can the thing frame, because we are framed, say to the one who put us in the frame, why is it like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's white man, but you know, the scriptures say that the Lord made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. You know what I'm saying? So this white man was created for a purpose, you know what I'm saying? And the Lord is perfect. So if he made these guys, what's the scripture where it says, uh, consider the work of the Lord? How can you make straight that which I made it perfect? Because if he made the white man, if he's perfect and he made these guys to be the devil, they're going to be the perfect devil. He's going to be able to run around and do all the things he did on earth. He's going to be able to create AIDS. He's going to be able to drop bombs on countries, kids, and little... You know, you know, stuff, stuff. He, can, he can come over here and murder 77 million Indians, come and get come get us from Africa, and murder 100 million of us just bringing us over here. That means he, he killed us, he paid for us, and then he put the justice and said, we're going to put these murderers right here. He can do all these things, and then when it's all said, no, we still here. This is not really the devil, you know what I'm saying? That is a perfect devil. And the word devil comes from the Latin word diablo, which just means a deceiver, you know what I'm saying? So the white man is a deceiver on the planet Earth, but he, like I said, he can do all the things and then put on a suit and deceive you and still make you think, man, man, make me a It's unbelievable, man. He's a perfect devil, man. Yeah, I know you know. Yeah, I'm about to get that book, man. I'm about to get that book. That's going to be interesting. Do you believe the white man's the devil? No, I believe. 
survival and it's going to be interesting.